Hello, hello, this is uh, Jeanette from Makeup Artist. I'm filming from San Antonio, Texas in this beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You are watching my videos. You are, you know, getting interested on my content. Please subscribe to my channel. I don't use sponsors. I am not affiliated with anybody. I'm not selling anything. I don't advertise anything, but I share uh, what I consider it, you know, might be a worth product for you to have in your kit. Thank you so much in advance and let us start it. I know, I know, I know what are you thinking, my friends, that I look like a geisha. <laughs> let me tell you, I just wore this blouse this morning because I have an appointment with the social, se social security office. Okay, I had to renew my passport and doing a bunch of other things that I was procrastinating, but since I'm going to be traveling uh, to Chile, South America, sometime this coming summer, um, I have to have everything in order. So I dress like this because I thought, okay, they are going to take picture of me. So I was trying to be very proper. Since I wanna do my video as well, I thought it's better than I dress up right now. I don't have to worry when I go home. But anyway, my friends, so far what I did on my face, you know, I did uh, apply the foundation, concealer. Um, I did sublimage uh, as my foundation. It's a very light, skin-like type of uh, a foundation, really natural for when you are on the go. So that give you a natural radiant, literally right away. Using my Herme. The Sahara powders. Uh, I did apply a little bronzing on my face because this blouse had a lot of uh, like a brown, beige, black, green, and not even thinking when I look at the mirror, I said, oh my God, I look like a geisha. <laughs> but this is the beautiful powder Sahara from Hermé. This is the one that I used today for my bronzing. Is the number three and I did apply as my blush and you already know how much I spoke before about the Chanel eye cheek and a uh, blushes palette this one is ten dress remember that is two of them the other one is the character and this one is the ten dress since my blouse have a, a tiny little like a coral chase there so i was trying to do like a soft uh, look and i result looking like a, a geisha just dior backstage the flash perfector concealer is infused with caffeine along with another amazing property that help you, you know, to soothe the tiredness that are circles and what not to say, because when you are tired, you are going to be more prone to dehydrate your skin and wrinkle, okay? Or accentuate the line of expressions. I set my eye and voila. So we're going to start. I have so many news to share with you by showing to you some of the latest purchases I've been doing. I still complaining because I still not receiving everything, but it's okay. We can make another video when the rest of my order come, okay? And I know, I know I look like a geisha, but that was unintentional. I just, you know what? I don't know if this happened to you, my friend, and my wife, my housewife, you know? I have four dogs. Um, I have to do all the stuff before I plan on doing something. So let me tell you, I know I'm pro I am a pro makeup artist. I grab my tone four, the double and tip liquid eyeliner. My friend and I did the line on the car. You are not going to believe it. And I apply the mascara from tone four as well. 
I found this taste and these two products is some of the product I can live without. I still with the same eyeliner than I did when I left. But anyway, my loves, I'm going to start showing you my latest purchases. I've been doing at Girl Lane. Okay, as I was explaining before on one of my videos, I was receiving some of the stuff, but not everything. So I proceed and I got two lipsticks, okay? The 309 and the 530. Okay, these are Velvet, Velvet Rouge, okay? And one is called Flash Rose. And the other one, the same as the name of the palette, Majestic Rose. And I bought it because when I was getting the palette Majestic Rose, I thought I should be having the same lipstick because I don't know if this happened to you, my friends. Sometimes I buy things because I love it so much, but sometimes I don't uh, pair the product with whatever that comes, you know, in this case, like this palette and Tom Ford, I have the same problem, which I'm being a little bit better because I, I'm always improvising, okay? Depending on the look as well, I'm doing, I'm always, always improvising. So I think uh, I'm getting better. I'm improving on that part. And let me show you. I couldn't be more happy, my loves. I proceed and I bought as well the cases. I was not going to buy the cases for the only reason that I thought that my lipsticks were just mesmerizing. But I, I went to Nima Marcus the other day and I saw these beautiful, beautiful cases over there in Girl Lane. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get the cases. Look, they have double mirror. And you insert your rouge over there. And then you gloss it. Okay. And come with these beautiful velvet pouches. And the color and demo right now, it is the blush rose blush rose okay this is from girl lane is one of my latest purchases and i don't regret it buying it because now that i'm going to be traveling my friends look to have this beauty inside of your purse blush rose it's a velvet creamy texture on these lipsticks. The longevity on this product is long and the product doesn't move and doesn't dry your lips. That was one of the things, you know, that attract me so much uh, from Girl Lane. And as I told you before, I'm getting kind of obsessed with this line for the quality. And let me tell you, I'm going to share with you uh, this is a little bit about the history of Girl Lane. Girl Lane, the line as a Girl Lane exists since 1946. And this company was the very first company providing the lipsticks or rouge to Marilyn Monroe. It's a brand that have experience on the formulation of the product. And probably I was needing to know that in order to understand why this brand was so amazing. So to a difference of these new brands or young brands, you know, that we can see on the market right now in the beauty industry, they can cope with the quality of a company that have a vast experience and they are being with the time and time and years and years reformulating their product. So now is Rose, uh, Majestic Rose. 
okay again as soon you pull the lipstick the encase open this is majestic rose i couldn't be more in love with this with this color my friends Sorry. the same formulation velvet um, this color have more pink more like a magenta pink and this one have a little bit of peachy undertone um, as pink what a gorgeous color this is the uh, blush rose majestic rose i bought this majestic rose for this palette okay what a gorgeous you know set to pair sometime we need it i never pair it for the only reason that i'm always improvising mm -hmm. this is more like a for vanity so the surprises will continue my friend we are barely studying i'm going to be demo you know um showing to you very quickly all the girl lane eyeshadow one more time uh, probably i'm not going to feature this uh, on the thumbnail because i already did it but for you to understand the beauty of this line this uh, eyeshadow that you see is the 555 metal butterfly if you are interested my friend to see this palette you know and to see the performance and everything and the demo i did just scroll down on my youtube channel and you are going to find one video that says all about girling let me see and the last of the eyeshadow is mystic peacock the creamy formula the dry wet formula on your lane my friends is just stunning i don't know why but this remind me so much to tom ford formulation highly pigmented doesn't present any type of fallout and the pigmentation is stay in your eyes for long time of hours if you are the type of person my friends then you work or you have to go outside indoors outside you know these are the perfect formulation you should be trying as the tone for channel as well so this is the mystic peacock okay from your lane over there is this gorgeous denim from your lane my friends as you already know because i demo as well the terracotta flower blossom is only one shade let me tell you that this product is being um, made with the 90 percent of natural ingredient the sun kiss healthy glow powder okay this one come only on one shade look at that how you are not going to love this product and correction 96 not 90 96 percent of natural ingredient and the lipsticks i'm just reading are for, made in france so they have manufacturers you know in both countries uh, france and italy uh, this oh my goodness one of the things that attract me i know that some of you my friends you don't like your product with scent okay it's like accent to violet but uh, what i want to do right now is to show you every single of the shade on this face powdering you know or powder individually stunning the formulation is extremely compact it's not powdery and these are the colors this one here is the coral 
shade, okay? Peachy undertone. In the very middle is gold undertone. And in third place is the pink. It's like a soft baby pink. So all these products are from Guerlain. Now imagine I'm going to make a swipe with my finger, a clean finger, around the three shades. I did it one time and you are going to see it in action here actually on the very last road. That is the finish with the three. Over there. With the three is the finish of the three color together. Okay. So it's important to understand my friends, it's not even a tint of fallout on this powder. The palette is completely clean. It's something that I really, really appreciate it. I highly appreciate it in a very, very high end, you know, brand like as it is Girling. You forgive me for my accent, my friends. As I explained to you, I come from Chile. I didn't make the, my education in this beautiful, gorgeous country that is my home. If there is some stuff, I'm never going to be able to change. And that is my accent. But I think that is kind of sexy. Even my friend then said, don't change it, don't change it, because your accent is very sexy. And I said, okay, so I believe it. Uh, I already showed you this also. The Terracotta, Terracotta Le Taint. Oh my, what a beautiful foundation, my friends. I demo this as well interested to know you know the performance formulation pigmentation blendability coverage on the for me on the formula of the foundation go scroll on my youtube and you are going to find all the information you need okay my channel is 100 percent informative i don't advertise i don't sell but i buy my friends what i consider it can be a very very good investment not only for me but to share with you what really is worth i know that a lot of this stuff have to do also with the fact of preferences okay but when a good quality like this come my friends it's not about good preference it's about you know the development the high technology on the production of this product. This line is a very fine line. I'm getting very, very, very obsessed. <laughs> okay, I did order three, five products from Pat McGrath. Iconic, mother cheap, iconic infatuation, eyeshadow palette. Look at this beauty. I got the Iconic and the Laison, but I haven't received the Laison yet. Look at this presentation. This palette is being made in US with imported ingredient. Okay, what a surprise. I didn't know that she made product here in the US. But Okay, this is the presentation of this gorgeous, iconic infatuation palette. On this side, on top, top left, we have Candlelight Affair, that is the name, Eternal Love, the bottom, the center up, Bare Venus, the lower is Forever, no, Flavor Adour. Then here on top, Platinum Divinity, and as a last, ender, Endermint, Endermint, okay? It's a kind of strange, all the names, I don't know why. So, I just got it today. I'm going to make the swatches of all of these beauties. My, this is a metallic uh, shade, definitely, it's not shimmer. Creamy. Not allowed. So let me proceed for the next one on top. And the, the name on this is Bear Venus. This is Bear Venus. Very beautiful shade, it's matte. 
This is the third one on top, which is the Candlelight Affair. Candlelight Affair. Pink, pink brown shade. Oh my goodness. So reflective. Just by moving, look at this. I hope that you can observe that. It's super, super reflective. And judge by yourself if you see any fallout. And if I would like to say then that is one of the things I really appreciate from Pat McGrath. You know, even though that is a person, then she launched stuff really often, you know. She is always taking care, you know, of the formulation of the product. And that is one of the things that I really appreciate. So the very last one is called Endurment. This one. Endurment. Is this one. Endurment. As you already know, my friend, I'm not a makeup reviewer, but I'm a makeup artist. And what I'm exposing here, because before ordering something, it can, can take me up to a month to decide if I actually am going to use and need and like the product, okay? Oh, my friends. Ah. Oh. This is iconic infatuation, my friend. Look at that. Copper. Tell me you cannot rock with this palette. The name on that one is uh, Fleurber Adore. And the next one, we're going to Eternal Love. This tool looks super similar, but we are going to find out what is the difference. I would like to say yes, it's more red undertone. And this is a beautiful brown with pink undertone oh wow look the pigmentation my friends so this is the six shades from the palette iconic infatuation what a beautiful what a beautiful color story because i'm very honest and i won't say something that is not true i bought this one for 45 dollars taking advantage, you know, of the uh, sale she was having over there. Because the palette by itself in normal condition, if I don't mistake, it's 65. So I pay only $45. That is worth, worth big time of your money. If this is the case, my beautiful friends, and you want to invest in Pat McGrath, any of the three eyeshadow palette that she has a lace is one, Iconic Infatuation is the other one, and the other one, if I don't mistake, Sublime Seduction. You know what? Knowing this, I think I'm going to proceed and order before that they get discontinued. I got this palette, my friend. I didn't get it because of the box and because it was beautiful. No, I got it because I thought that the colors in general were so different. The highly pigmentation on this palette, my friend. When I saw this palette, I love it so much that I went and proceed and I ordered another one. Look at the shades. Tell me if the shades are not crazy crazy, insane, and in for this coming summer. And I have one illuminator or highlighter uh, in the whole palette. But what is the new about this? This palette is not in, in a store anymore. Look at those shades, the four. This is like a, a coral, it's like a coral pinky blush. The other one, this one is the Illuminator. This is like a magenta type of rose finish. It's gorgeous. And this is this typical and famous shade that every single brand is launching right now, which is the baby rose or baby pink or icy pink. My loves, even though this color got repeated, okay, which is not the case. Look. 
This is another uh, blush palette from her. I love this as an exquisite product. Palette as well is Divine Blush Nude Venus. Yeah, I know that her products are a little bit of expensive, but let me tell you, we're talking about the iconic Pat McGrath, okay? She's the mother of all of us. Me, as a makeup artist with a humble heart, I said not because nothing. She is called the mother, okay? Because she's the mother of the makeup. And let me show you the other palette, blush palette I got from her. And this one is called Divine Rose. They are not on, on the website anymore. The, the line got discontinued. So we have one palette, uh, Divine Rose, the uh, Nude Venus, okay, regarding blushes. And this one then is called the Netflix in collabor collaboration with Netflix, something like that. And you can find this palette anymore, neither these ones. And now the Blitz Astral Quad is Nocturnal Nirvana. Oh, I'm in love with that uh, design and the box. So this palette was made in Italy. How expensive it can be for a makeup artist or a company to manufacture a luxury cases because the cost is a lot. Look at this babe. Look at this babe. This is a baby. Look at this color, my friends. But for love and passion of my job, I love to share, okay? Simple as that. So if you are watching my video and you haven't subscribed, please do it, okay? Because this is done by pure love. I don't get commission from anybody. Um, all of the product that you see, I buy it with the help of my darling husband. Look at my friends. If I'm lying to you, please. But I can tell you, look at this beauty. Three, I want to say two real metallic shade, one shimmer. And the gold one is glittery because the particles are a little bit bigger. What a gorgeous product. All this from Pat McGrath with this Nocturnal Nirvana. And at last one, but not the less, from Pat McGrath, the Divine Bronze Look Squad. Look at this beauty. So we're going to start from this shade on top, Nude Solaris, Top Sunset Taupe, Velvet Eclipse, and Glided Glamour. I can see a very glittery shade here that I would love to recommend, which is this one. Or this one, it's no fallout. But if you really want to have my loves, an amazing payoff of this beautiful product, you would love to consider it, you know, to consider the possibility to get the artistry wand from Pat McGrath because you put this as the base or primer first, applying the uh, metallic glitter shade because the particles are a little bit bigger. So you can retain the product much better. I'm trying to look in the mirror because it's so stunning. This is a true brown. It's a cool tone brown. To the difference of this one over here had a pink undertone okay it's no bargain this pink is soft pink undertone and this one is a warm brown and the other gold over here there is a cream 
Chimmer. All the formulation from Pat McGrath, extremely, extremely creamy, easy to blend with a tiny little bit. You go a very, very long way. I'm going to show you one more time. Look at this, it's super beautiful. Like uh, you wanna go with a smoky eyes to a soft glamour just with one palette, go for it. This palette can handle everything. Okay, so all these are from Pat McGrath. What a beautiful product, friends. What a beautiful, crazy ninja. So these are the beauty she recently launched. And I need to hurry up and order the other two on this, my friend, because uh, I'm thinking it won't last longer. So this is what concern to Pat McGrath. I hope that you enjoy a lot this demo. I hope because this is all about luxury, okay? Even though what I did on my face, speaking about companies, them, they produce product in the US. Some of you knows for any chance that Color Pop is a local company. Since I work a lot with cream matte pastel shades, okay, and you can apply your regular eyeshadow on top, if you want a pop of color, what a beautiful product. You won't believe the price, the value price on this uh, box of three, nine shades are retailed for $75. That is a real price, but I bought it in discount for only $35. Free shipping. How we are not going to support them? Let me show you one. This is very compact. Okay, since pastel shades are going to be really in, my friends. And look at that shade. This one. Once this product set is no force in this world and it's going to make a move. And the stain lasts me like a literally for seven hours. And look at the colors. It's a cream gel color vault. Let me tell you, now it's completely set. Look, it's not moving, okay? So before you apply this, I always encourage you to use your Derma Chill, okay? I did something very simple with this amazing, gorgeous palette from Pat McGrath, the one I just got yesterday. Um, using only three shades out of the four. If happen, for example, you have a cocktail or you are going at night, you just intensify the outer corner, let us dip softly because these palettes are highly pigmented okay so i went through making a you know a soft look to transition into something more smoky for night if it is the case 
even though I have to leave some of the pigment here on my hand, oh my. So let us leave it like that because this product is highly, highly pigmented. No fallout whatsoever. Look at this. With so, this palette, friends. To this. My friends, okay, I'm not kidding. This shimmer and this metallic shade over here is driving me insane. Look at this. Venusian Sunrise. So this is one of the summer collection. Venusian Sunrise. My friend, this is just, I'm telling you, this is just insane. I barely touch this brush and the product. And as you saw me on the metallic product, I did apply the Artistry Wand. It is just, it's from Pat McGrath, okay? So you push this button here and make the lid come, okay? And you use this for shimmers and metallic shades so they can hold together. Friends, if you're going to use this product, Please, you need to be really, really careful. This is from Pat McGrath as well. It's called Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter, Lunar Allure. Okay, I haven't applied any illuminator. I haven't applied any kind of setting spray or anything whatever the glow you see is from Le Sublimage okay and this product I use along with my Hermé bronzer this is what it is in my face Tendress from Chanel and Sahara from Hermé grateful for the choices I've been doing I buy all of my products so i hope that you enjoy this makeup look and i'm going to continue and it is a surprise